Hey everyone, Shebim here, and welcome back to our next episode of the Manchester United Return to Glory. Let's get into January. It's going to be a big one. Lots of players leaving us. There we go. Lots of players out on loan as well. Well, let's check the news because a lot of stuff just happened, doesn't there? So, uh, Matic is gone. Um, Mata is gone. Twanzabe is gone. Dan James is gone. Erzi's uh, gone out on loan. Doku's gone out on loan. Wurtz has gone out on loan. Uh, Luke Shaw is gone. Ethan Laird is gone. So that's going to clear our squad out quite a bit. Uh, let's see if we can fill it back up a bit. Youth squad monthly report. 71 to 91, that goalkeeper. 80 to 94 with this lad. Um, oh, Clark. And you're 61, but um, your potential is not good enough. Neither's yours, Wood. You're gone. Cox, you're gone. Um, you're gone. Wow, we're letting a lot of these players go this month, aren't we? Diaz, though, 84 to 90 potential. 80 to 94 potential as well. So we do have some good ones. We do have some good ones. Um, let's see if we can add some more players to the academy, though. First of all, we'll check in America because I'm pressing the wrong one. Um, come on, let's bring some... America had terrible players last month as well, and they've got terrible players this month. They really have. Right, next up. Uh, from Mexico. Okay, we've got a 73 to 94. That's one good player. It's going to be a bad month. I can feel it, unless Canada really, really pulls out the bag. Which is not looking like they're going to yet. This is a terrible month. Is this the end of the... Oh my god. It's a really terrible month, this one. That was really, really bad. And um, we're going to send them all back off to America again. We're actually up to a 72 rating now with our squad um, thingamajig. We'll just bring a couple of those players up, I think, just to keep them happy. Let's do Canada. Let's do uh, United States. And let's do Mexico again. Um, but let's bring up... Um, well, so we know you're good and you're North American. So let's bring you up and promote to the senior team. Um... else we know is going to be no one we know is guaranteed to be good but i think just to keep them quiet and keep them happy and um, probably we'll take diaz because we know you're good you've got an 84 to 90 potential so we'll promote you to the senior team i'll tell you what let's also promote you because you're 17 and um, because i can put you straight on the loan list and so that should hopefully complete that mission it hasn't yet okay why Oh my god, it doesn't count. Youth Academy doesn't count. Youth Academy doesn't count. Well, that's just made things a lot more complicated. Um, right, so we can get... I'm trying to think off the top of my head now. We can get um, Jonathan David. We can get... Um, is it Rayner? Um, so USA, not San Marino, U, United States. Um, Pulisic, oh there's a right back, Tyler Adams. Okay. Yeah, rainer has got an 88 potential. Okay, we'll get Rayner. Um... And there's Adams as well. Right, so first of all, I think we can... Let's go for... Um, Giovanni Reyna. Scout and shortlist. See, Adams is not that great, to be honest. Um, we know if we look at Canada... I mean... How much, right? This is a big, big question now. 
how much would it cost us instead of getting instead of getting um Cucurella, what if we just went out and brought Alfonso Davis? Because surely we picked up a lot of money now with the players players we've sold. We got Alfonso Davis and Jonathan David. Alfonso Davis and Jonathan David. John. Van David. Well, I think I have already scouted, haven't I? Yes. Okay. Let's put him back on there then. Um, so those will be three North American players we can pick up that we know have got good pot potential. So they're not a waste. Um, so Jonathan David, 26 to 36 million. Rainer. I mean, it won't be too much for him, I don't think. Alfonso Davis is the big question, though, isn't it? Well, let's go straight in for Jonathan David. So we know it's to be 26 to 36 million. So we're just going off of 30 million. We've sold quite a few. But we've got must have like 150 odd million now in the bank, I would imagine. Way the patch has fixed this now. Offer a transfer fee. Got um, 163 million to spend. We should be able to ace this then easy. No. No, 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 no. You're not having Konate. Um, remove the exchange player. Um, is there any other players I can give you that um, I'm happy to let leave? Uh, centre backs. What other centre backs do I have that you can have? You can have Marcus Rojo. Um, Marcus Rojo, and I'll leave the same value on there. Marcus Rojo and 30 million. They don't want Marcus Rojo. Nobody wants Marcus Rojo, do they? Um, let's remove the sell-on fee. And let's um, reduce this down to 35. I don't know why she perked up, but there you go. What? No, 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 no. You're taking the mick here, aren't you? 40 million. Okay, they're going to have a think about that, but I think we've over over offered there, to be honest. Um, let's go in for Giovanni Reina. Um, I don't know what to offer. That's the problem for Reina. Offer a transfer fee. I don't want to just to go in and offer five million. That's my normal. Let's go seven and a half. Seven and a half million. I hope they don't just storm out. Oh, okay, that's reasonable. Okay. So let's get um, Rainer in. Don't know what wages to pay him. Hopefully they'll tell us what they want. Um, so you're going to be a uh, prospect? Are you happy with that or do you want to be sporadic? Okay, he wants to be a prospect. That's good. He wants a four-year deal, which is good. No release fee, which is good. Do you want a release fee? No, no, no. We don't want to do release fees. That's fine. That's cool. Please don't make me... Oh, they want to make me guess. I don't want to guess your wages. Um, what about 20k? 20k, is that okay? That's a reasonable offer. Sweet. Okay, that's one American in. Yep. They're happy with that. We've signed one and the um, manager rating's got up a bit. Uh, there we go. Yeah, sign one North American player. Lovely jubbly. And we need to wait for the other two. Right, let's do a bit of uh, training. So the game against Derby, I think we will try and play a, a slightly weaker side. A lot of our players are knackered, to be honest. Really, really struggling. Uh, McTominay's been sold as well. We've got a, a loan offer for Greenwood, which we're going to reject because we need him now that Martial's injured. So we'll get that rejected. How's our squad looking now? Is it looking a lot more... 
a lot more um, empty now. Still quite a lot of players there that I'm not interested in. So we've got Rainers a 71. I uh, brought Diaz, Orozco, and McDonald up. And we've still got this chunk here, haven't we, of youngsters that we don't really want. Um, let's go into the squad. We want to put those players we brought up on the loan list as well, don't we? So let's put Diaz on the loan list. McDonald on the loan list. And Orozco on the loan list as well. Willis, you're already on the loan list? You are, okay. So we'll let those players go out on loan. Yeah, we're going to need to change the team around quite a bit for this game because our team is knackered. Really, really knackered here, I think. Um, so those are the only two good Canadians that are there in the year. Um, no. I don't want to pay... For, oh, it's only three million more. Okay, let's just do it. It's three million more than I wanted to pay. That's going to leave us then with about 90 odd million to get Alfonso Davis over the line. So you get the rotation, which you're happy with. Um, five year deal. You want a three year deal? Okay. Well, let's balance it out at four years. If I'm with that, okay, that's good. You don't want a release fee, which I'm happy about. Why does everyone make me guess their bloody wages? 40k. An extra 12.5k than what you're on. You want to be... Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, that's fine. Let's get it over the line. Boom, another American signed. That's going to get the board even happier now, isn't it? 83, yeah. Plus, it means that we've got him in in time now to make his debut tonight. So let's go team manager. We'll stick with the same formation, I think. We'll just change a few of the players around. So up front, um, we will have Jonathan David. Um, we can play Camavinga and Tonali just behind. Um, Fernandez can be replaced by... We haven't got a lot of these players now, actually. Actually, and the best one we've got now is Reyna. So Reyna can make his debut as well. Um... Machiali, right back. Konate comes in as well. Um, we haven't got left back sorted yet, have we? So, okay. That's the formation for now, then, I think. Oh, we can play you as well. Uh, Greenwood in, in place of Sancho. And then Rashford, do we have... Oh, so, ursi has gone out on loan as well, hasn't he? Okay. That's fine. We'll leave it like that, then. So imagine to rest quite a few of our bigger players. Give a couple of debuts out as well. Right, let's see how we go. Let's see how we get on. We should do okay. We've got a um, stronger team, even though we're playing a few more of the, the weakest players. Oh, they've got a Joswiak. We've got Jonathan David, though. We got Jonathan David. Be nice once we can get rid of more of these um, players as well. Got a lot of um, dead wood still sat in our club. A lot of the younger players that I thought would get picked up quite quickly by some of the the smaller teams in the Europe, in the Europe, you know, not the Europe, in the lower leagues. Lovely ball over the top, finding Alex Tellez. Nope, not quite enough.
Have they got Rooney on? No. If Rooney's still there for now, is he? Or whether he's retired now in this game, I'm not sure. Jonathan David gets a goal on his debut. Lovely freaking jubbly. Right, goal is debut for Jonathan David. That's what we like to see. And we're on the attack once again. All right, I'm happy now. I'm happy. I'm even happier now as uh, Sandro Tonali makes it 2-0 just before half-time. I'm a very happy man. There we go then, 2-0 up at half-time. Jonathan David scored in his debut and Sandro Tonali with one as well. The thing is, now we know that actually the... Um, that's fine. I'll still send them to those places. I was going to say, now we know that the that doesn't count as signing a North American player using the academy. It's a bit of a waste to send those people back out, but I'm not going to bring them back just for the sake of it. Go on. Oh, it's cut out. With Phil Jones, that's Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank Should be all right here then. Have we got anyone on the bench that I want to bring on? Um, no, not really, actually, no. The bench is a bit stronger today, wasn't it? So... Come on, stop, stop, don't let him get the goal. But there we go, that's nice. I didn't want him to sort of catch. I don't think it should matter, to be honest. Jonathan David having a cracking game. He's going to get a lot of football now, Jonathan David. Did we just give away a penalty? Yes, we have. Okie doke. We have given away a penalty. It doesn't really matter. Ten minutes remaining. They do get themselves a goal. Henderson's not having a great game, is he, actually? 5.9. At least we've been able to rest quite a few players there. That's the main thing. The games came really thick and fast over Christmas. We really started to struggle with fitness. Oh, nice. Jonathan David gets his second goal of the game. He is looking like a crack insider for 42 million, isn't he? We know he has an 88 potential. So he is looking like a fantastic signing for us here. There we go then. 3-1 victory. Victory! Oh, we're at the end of the episode already. Wow. Okay. Okay. I freaking K. Right, so let's push on. Um... We are currently top of the table by one point. <coughs> Let's just push on and see if we can get, um, before the next game, we can get the scout report back on um, Alfonso Davis. I don't think we're going to, but it looks like we've got Burnley coming up on Saturday. Let's get this training done. If not, it looks like next episode we'll get the, uh, the deal for um, Alfonso Davis, hopefully sorted, if we can afford it. £92 million pounds for Wan-Bissaka. That's a big offer, but we are going to reject it because Wan-Bissaka is one of the best right-backs you can possibly get. Jonathan David wants to play in this game against Burnley. I mean, you can't you can't begrudge him that, can you? Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back next time. We'll have this game against Burnley. We'll push on in the January transfer window. Hopefully get the Alfonso Davis deal over the line as well. 
which would be two massive, massive signings for us. Um, so, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, slap the like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.